Friends, Intel's GPUs are here. They're finally, finally here. If you're running very, very specific systems. Also, apparently AMD has a new code name coming out in their GPUs, as well as Nvidia saying that everything that's happened with their, you know, renaming of their mobile GPUs is fine. Don't worry, everything's okay. So let's go ahead and talk about that in today's episode of Hot News. In case you're new around here, I'm Brett, I'm your host. We're gonna get into the latest tech news that's happening around the internet. And yes, I did just crack my knuckles. I can do that on command. So yesterday was the unveiling of the Project Z DG1 discrete graphics cards that you can slot into specific systems. You're not going to be able to get one. Probably uh, most reviewers are not going to get their hands on one unless they are willing to pick up an OEM system that's going to have it. The first desktop GPUs that are coming out are made by Asus and Colorful, and you can see the designs here. This is Colorful's design, and then this is Asus's design. You can see that since Asus is comfortable just putting a heatsink on it with no active fan, the performance isn't going to be quite good on this. Honestly, it's basically akin to integrated graphics on AMD's uh, APUs. It's not anything exceptional, but the real kicker is not that these are going to OEMs because AMD's already done that with the Ryzen 4000 series APUs. It's not unprecedented that they are making an OEM only launch, just like with the, what was it? The GTX 800 series was on laptops only. So it's that's not bad, but according to Legit Review, who contacted Intel to find out if they could get these cards for review, it turns out that they can only be paired with 9th and 10th gen processors on B460, H410, B365, or H310C chipset motherboards because they require a special BIOS that supports Intel Iris Z graphics. You'll notice that Z490 is not in there. Z590 is not in there. The high-end chipsets are not included and you won't be able to use that. Oh my gosh, I actually haven't heard of this in recent history where a GPU can only be run on very, very select systems. This is kind of crazy. It does look like Intel's not necessarily pushing to get widespread adoption with this, so I can kind of understand their motive there, but locking it down to specific CPUs as well as specific motherboard chipsets and then requiring a special BIOS, just they're not ready for prime time, baby, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to show things off with Roger Kadori, the leader of the graphics team over at Intel, sharing off the die shot of the Project Z HPC chip. This thing is massive. You can see there's so many chiplets that are going on there. It's going to be absolutely huge. And you can see that it's just, it's a big package, seven nanometers, according to him, which it will just be coming out when it's ready which I guess they're better than CD Projekt Red for that. And with regards to their seven nanometer production, their brand new CEO, Pat Gelsinger, has said that they are working and reviewing and trying to get the health and recovery of the seven nanometer program happening because they believe in it. Obviously, they're making advances on the GPU side. The DG1 that got announced is on 10 nanometers, so they are moving forward with that. It just really hasn't hit the mainstream desktop market, but you can get them. And with a new CEO and the lead architect of Nahalem coming back together and just wonder twinning it up, maybe they actually might me make these promises. And I want to promise you that you should absolutely check out today's video sponsor of this episode of Hot News. We're brought to you by ButcherBox today, my friend, which is the way that I get all of the meat that we eat here at my household. It comes to me once a month, we get the shipment and then we just put it in the freezer when we take it out whenever we're ready to eat. And they ship it to you right to your door, free shipping as always. And the meat is high quality, 100% grass fed and grass finished beef, heritage breed pork and free range organic chicken. Their goal is to make high quality meat accessible to as many people as possible. And at less than $6 per meal, it's actually reasonably affordable. And they have a brand new promotion where if you use our link in the video description, you'll get a free game day bundle because we're not legally allowed to say what game it is, but the big game that's happening, you'll get a rack of St. Louis ribs, one pack of pulled pork, and one pack of bacon for free in your first box with Butcher Box. Honestly, it's just changed my shopping habits, made it easier so that I don't have to remember as much when I go to the store, but also the meat's really freaking good. So check them out down below and you should check out 
this, the RTX 3080 mining rig that's in a BMW i8 that was made just to annoy gamers, according to the person who owns this. He actually is running this off of an inverter, off of the battery pack in the i8, which I suppose if you have a glorified Prius, that's essentially what you're going to do with it. You got six RTX 3080s in there. He is only able to run this with the trunk open because of heat dissipation issues, but the battery pack can actually run it. So cool, you annoyed the gamers. I just, I, I, I'm annoyed that you bought that car. The i8 looks cool, but it's really expensive and it's just, it's not, it's just not a good car. I'm not annoyed, I'm sad. But I am annoyed at NVIDIA. Last week we talked about how NVIDIA was getting rid of the naming nomenclature of Max-Q and Max-P with regards to their laptops. And as that was reported, NVIDIA came out and said, not, not exactly, Max-Q is not going away, it's just a broader technology group and laptop companies can say whatever they want, we're just not requiring them to say Max-Q and Max-P, but because Max-Q has so much more technology in it, you, you, it's just, it's, it's not fair to just say what it is and that the, the companies are more than welcome to list the stuff. But the big issue was not that Max-Q technology isn't good and Max-Q technology shouldn't exist. The issue is that when you don't require these companies who make these laptops to disclose what specific version of a graphics card the end user is getting, then they are not able to make an informed decision. Getting rid of the constraint that companies have to disclose is the problem not the fact that there is disclosure that needs to happen. I don't care if Max-Q is broader. You need to require these companies to tell me what GPU I'm getting in my system. That's the way it should work. The fact that that got removed is anti-consumer and really frustrating. And just saying, oh, it's not going away, doesn't actually answer the question that's there, NVIDIA. And the question of when RTX 3060 embargoes are lifting is apparently February 19th, according to video card. So there you go. Yesterday we talked about how AMD was gonna have a big, big GPU. Well, it turns out we've got some indication of their mid, mid GPU that should be coming out. Navi 22 or 23 is being featured in an Ashes of the Singularity benchmark with this Nashira Summit GPU. It's not completely known what Nashira Summit is at this point, but all signs kind of point to Navi 22 or Navi 23 and not likely a Navi 31 GPU. And all signs point that you don't have enough RGB in your setup, my friend friends, and you're going to need to get more with Genesis Gaming's Helium 300BT ARGB desktop speakers. Yes, my friends, desktop speakers featuring addressable RGB that works with, what is it? Polychrome RGB, Mystic Light Sync, RGB Fusion, and AuraSync. They're only going to cost $85, so that is kind of indicating to me that they're probably not high quality speakers, especially considering the fact that they have Bluetooth functionality, which raises the price normally. So these are probably gonna be good enough and flashy enough that they're gonna sound better than most like budget speakers you could get at Walmart, but not necessarily gonna be a high end speaker that you should get. I still kind of want them. Is that wrong? I don't know. Are you gonna buy them? Let me know down in the comments. And TSMC is gonna buy more space by reserving some of the space for the automotive industry. According to Taiwan's economics ministry, saying that they spoke to TSMC to make sure that they're gonna reserve enough production capacity for autonomous vehicle ships when that starts happening where people don't need to rely on their phones anymore, they rely on their cars. I don't know what I meant by that, but I'm keeping that in there. And what's ex as expensive as a car is this new camera from Sony. I love it because it seems really awesome, but $6,500 for a 50 megapixel 8K camera that can shoot in 30 frames per second bursts. Not 30 frames per second video, but the actual picture taking would be 30 frames per second. This thing is insane having the peak of Sony's technology, a 240 hertz OLED electronic viewfinder, and just being a massive, massive beast of a camera. $6,500, absolutely insane. I would definitely be willing to check it out. Not gonna drop the cash on that. And I'm not gonna drop the cash on their $2,500 smartphone that they announced either. The Xperia Pro not only is a bad phone because it's a Sony, that's just a dig at Catlin. Not, nothing against experience, it's Xperia owners. They just are 
bad with money. Anyways, the Xperia Pro is a big deal because it's a 5G millimeter wave phone that also doubles as a monitor for cameras. And Sony actually tested this out with a mobile streaming setup that they used during sports events for NBC Sports, as well as live streaming coverage of the Berlin Marathon. So they not only used the phone to receive the footage from whatever camera they had, they also used it to broadcast that out to the production studio, which it's just... That explains the price right there, 2,500 bucks. And you could probably explain the delay of Lord of the Rings Gollum to one simple word, coronavirus. It was supposed to come out this year, getting delayed until 2022. So you'll have to wait for that. But you won't have to wait anymore for the audio listening experience wars to continue to heat up. Spotify is now adding more audiobooks. Apparently this was a feature that they had, but they added nine new titles, all classics with new narrations. Not only is Audible getting in on the podcast game with Spotify, also getting in on the podcast game. Now Spotify is turning up the ratchet dial on audiobooks. I just, I just want to listen to music. Stop complicating things. And I just want to buy a processor, but you can't at this point, and there's a new report that comes out to show you exactly why. According to this report by Michael Driscoll, who analyzed eBay sellings of scalped processors that have happened over the last little bit, turns out that they've made $5.8 million in revenue on just Zen 3 processors, which led to about a million dollars in profit and eBay and PayPal taking in fees of $625,000. There's also a breakdown on it per processor. It looks like the profits are highest when it comes to the 5900X and the 5600X had a ton of sales as well. This is just absolutely crazy. But if people are willing to pay the price and I put it up on a bid and then other people choose to scalp it for me, is that really wrong? Like if I set the bid at a hundred bucks and then it just gets put up to $500, did I mess up? I don't know. I just, it's just moral quandaries, my friend, but you don't have to quander your morals any longer with this episode of Hot News because it's over. Thank you so much for watching this one. Be sure to come join us over on Twitch right now. We're actually gonna be live streaming our meme review with Reese and Catlin, twitch.tv forward slash UF Disciple. Now that you've finished Hot News, come join us over there. I will see you tomorrow for the tech news that's going on. Don't forget to check out ButcherBox today's video sponsor to get some meat, free meats for the big game and chip cheerio. And with regards to their seven nanometer, 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 nan